Hey guys, just going to do a quick video. I'm um, going to show that my dad's gift is back from the framer. My husband works with the guy that does our framing. So he kind of gives us a discount. Here's the detail of the frame. I'm really excited about it. Sorry about the wonderful, horrible glare. But um, there it is, all nice and framed. I'm just going to lay it down to where you can see it. The horrible, horrible glare, sorry. But there it is. He charged us a whole $25 for this frame. Um, not bad at all, in my opinion. But it's all ready to give for my dad's birthday in December. Can't come quick enough. Now I'm going to answer a couple questions. Um, KISW1980 had asked about the Ink Circles 99 bottles chart. and Because I was bragging on how it was charted. Um, it does come in this nice protective bag. Which I've already opened because I struggled with it earlier. <laughs> The front does have a, a stitched picture, a model picture, and it is an actual stitch, not just a computer generated stitched model. And it is in color, which I do like because then you can kind of look at the bottles and make sure yours looks like what they're supposed to. Then you get this wonderful, she kind of writes a letter about the project, which I'm not going to show all that. And here are the symbols, and as you can see, they are all different. There's not anything that's really close. The only two that are even similar are the um, the slash and the percent sign up there, but that's it. Everything else are all big and easy to read. Um, I'm not going to show all of the pattern, obviously, because of copyright, but I will show you a little fragment of it. If my camera will focus. There we go. Um, they're all big and easy to read. There is no back stitch and no fractional charts. Um, the chart is front and back. Um, she did force the page breaks to where, I don't know if you can tell, but the bottles end on the bottom of a page. And, um, which calls for, it has a little overlapping there, but, you know, you can tell where it's at. But she said that, you know, she left in the note that she did that to where the um, page breaks would be easier and you didn't have a page break in the middle of the bottom. She also includes this, um, key that has all the beer bottle names on them and it shows where they're located in the name of the beer and where they're um, actually brewed and bottled and that's actually two pages because there's 99 of them but that's that and I hope that helps and like I said I'm absolutely loving this chart and then Emini Mama had asked about the floss away bags and how they work um, obviously I'm one handed so I can't show you the whole setup process but I do start with just a floss away bag and a file card and I just trim the edges off, um, kind of off the side, and the little piece off the bottom. I save those. And then I stick, I write the number of the floss down on the card, and then stick it down into the bag. Once that's written down on the bag and inside the bag, you then easily, this is not the right number, but just for purposes of the video, pop the floss down into the bag. Okay, I'm doing this one handed and left handed. Doing pretty good. like that. I then originally had them in one of these um, clear Sterilite shoe boxes. These are like 97 cents at my Walmart. Um, I don't know. I'm not familiar with over the overseas stores so I can't help you there. But they would stand up perfectly. These are just all mis mismatched floss left over from kits and stuff. So, But they would stand up perfect when you have it full. And then whenever you need a number you just flip through it kind of like a card catalog at school. And stick your number in there or take it out. You know, just the card makes them stand up a lot easier than they do without, like, these don't have the cards in them, so they're kind of floppy. But this really makes it stand up and a lot stiffer. Um, I had about half of a thing of floss, a, a collect, half of a collection of DMC floss. Let me be more specific. Sorry. And it took about four of these, three and a half, four of these boxes. I don't know how much a complete box would take, or a complete set would take. Um, and I had them in there pretty loose, so they would, you know, flip around and stuff. Um, the thing I liked is that if you dropped it, you only had one box to go through and like all the bobbins. But I never, I mean, they seal close pretty well. I've never really, knock on wood, had dropped the box. I now don't use the um, box anymore. I now have mine in a drawer. When we remodeled my craft area, we got a drawer set and I added in some drawer dividers that my um, sister and I made and super glued in and I've got the floss in the drawers there. 
But um, when I take them out for projects, I put them on these project rings. Like so. I put them in numerical order on these rings because I'm just a little bit OCD. And they're easy to find, easy to flip through and get to the right number without any issues. Then when I'm done, I just pop them off the ring and pop them back in order. Um, now, the floss away bags, they say they're a 3x5 bag. Um, the whole bag is 3x5, about the size of a file card. Maybe a little bit bigger, actually. You can see that the file card kind of overlaps a little bit. But um, that's why I had to trim it down some. There are some other brands. This is the True Floss Away brand. It does have the color code thing right here. I chose not to use that because I like that number at the top a lot better. Um, there are other brands. I think Hobby Lobby and Joann's both have their own brand. Um, I used the Hobby Lobby brand originally. I had gotten them for my Starry Night um, just to carry the floss in because I didn't have them on bobbins and they were odd lengths. So I just stuck them down in the bags. Those bags tore up pretty quickly. They split down here at the bottom. I was having to tape them and the rings up here um, would break and I ended up having to put them in floss away bags. But now the thing about that brand is that the, or is it Jimmy? It was, it was Bobby Lobby. That brand, the card fit in there perfectly. Um, I choose not to put my floss on the side of the lines. Sometimes I'll put my bits, like if I've cut off some or pulled some or, you know, stripped it out of the, you know, the single threads out, I'll put it on the side of the line thing just to where it's separate and doesn't get tangled up with my actual skin. But, um, I like the, it on the white better to where the color kind of shows up, which this is a very, very almost white blue, so you can't see a big difference. There we go. To where the color kind of shows up. Um, sometimes I do plop or pull off the um, skiing bands to where they just lay in there more regular. Sometimes I don't. Generally, if it's a new skiing that I bought, I'm just sticking it in there. I don't, but when I do use it, I do take off the bands. But when I'm just first sticking it in there, I tend to leave the, the, skiing, on the, the skiing bands on there. I don't know why. But they do hold, hold very well, and I'm very impressed with them. And um, some of the bags have the holes down here at the bottom. I didn't like that because they rip easy. I like it up here, the, the thicker, you know, more separated. This is just thicker, sturdier up there. But I hope that helps, Emily Mama. And I, I absolutely love my my floss away bags. I had gone from, I started out with the stitch bows and didn't like them. And then I tried the bobbins. As you can tell, one of these is even got the bobbin in there. Didn't like them because I hated, it took more time to organize my floss than to actually stitch. And then keeping up with them with projects, I would go over where it get lost. So I really liked, you know, I really liked this a lot better. Um, I, to me, it was kind of, I mean, it was a big purchase at the beginning because, you know, you had to buy how many of our bags of these, um, how many of our sets of these bags. Most of the sets come with the, um, ring. I think you get a larger size of bag without the ring for cheaper, I don't know, about the same price. Or you can get the ring in a lower set of bags. Um, but now that I have some extras, I keep it in this little just photo box thing here. And that's where I keep all my extra bags and cards. And I just, when I go buy floss, I just grab this out and go. I keep my little marker that I write with it in there too. And that's how I, it's, it's just effortless to, you know, add your, your floss to your stash. But that's everything for now. I'm going to get ready for work and head that way, <laughs> head into work. And thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps. Hope this answers your question. And oh, I finished the page of my verse last night. I got a you know small finish. I'm excited. But that's everything for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.